Hey Rage Nation, this is Kimber Schaefer with Rage in the Cage 85 News. The event, it's going down Saturday, December 4th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market. And hey, we are blessed. We've got Keegan, Keegan Davison, almost butchered your name. I'm good at that too, um, on the fight card. And I believe I saw you're fighting Tyler Logan. Yes. Is. All right, you're 2-0. and I believe he's 2-0. and So of course, this is pretty evenly matched fight card. What do you consider your... Um, your your specialty in in mixed martial arts what do you are you more a stand-up guy or so i actually started out <clears throat> just straight wrestling that that was my thing i did it for about six seven years um had some scholarships turned them down but now i'm starting to fall in love with more of like the grimy just stand up stand and bang style where are you training at right now i'm training at gym 365 in Connell and then spartan fit mma okay so Tyler Logan, what do you know about him? Uh, not much, you know, he was an all right wrestler. Um, other than that, you know, I watched his fights. Don't really know a whole lot. So going back to your wrestling career, obviously you wrestled in high school. Mm -hmm. What were some of your accomplishments? Um, you know, I had, was a back-to-back -back conference champ um, my junior and senior year. Um, qualified for state my senior year, unfortunately fell short. <clears throat> But from that, like I said, I've got multiple scholar or college offers to go, um, but life didn't lead me in that direction. So I went straight to work and uh, that was basically it for my wrestling career. And college isn't for everyone. And so, I mean, I have, I have a lot of family member that decided against that too. Um, so what are your long-term goals? I mean, now that you've got two fights under your belt, obviously both win. So <clears throat> you're going in the right direction here. You've had success in the cage. Um, big picture of what you see next for yourself. Yeah, so right now I've seen an interesting matchup. Um, when it was a couple couple weekends ago when Tater McSpadden fought McKinnon Freeman. You mm -hmm. know, so once I get past this fight, that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, trying to get that 155 strap. So have you called Breaking Den out yet? Not or? yet, because I don't want to look past my opponent right now. Smart, smart. I, I don't blame you at all for that. So that would be a good matchup for you, obviously. I, I'm, I'm seeing that now in the future for you. So um, title, local title um, in your future. And again, you probably just one fight at a time, not really looking past that at this point. Yeah, um, so like me and my coach, Chris Vereen, uh, we sit down and we talk, kind of figure out where we're going with this. And that's basically what we, we had came up with, um, was get past this fight 3-0. and I don't see anybody else calling them out, um, so that's what I'm going to do. You know, and you and Chris, and just honestly anybody that trains under Chris, I just see such respect for your coach, and then he has such love and respect for those that train under him, and it's it's a beautiful thing. I've noticed that at your previous fights, and you know anybody that he coaches up, and even when he's fighting, and you guys being in his corner. So I'm um, sure you really enjoy having him as a coach. Is, did you know him before or you just ended up at his gym? So, <clears throat> so I, uh, I didn't know him whenever I first started this MMA career, um, but I started out at Conquer BJJ in Ada, and that is where he started out. And he kind of took me under his wing, <clears throat> and I've just kind of followed in his footsteps ever since. And uh, we became family, and we've got, a, we've got a group of friends that all train together. You know, we've got wrestling, wrestlers, we've got jujitsu guys, and then, you know, of course, we got KV, which kind of all just, we're all like little ducklings behind him. And uh, so, yeah, it's nothing but love between all of us. So how does a person fit mixed martial arts in their life when they have family, they've got, you know, um, jobs, and how do, you, how do you go about that? It has to be pretty important. Yeah, um, you, you've got to make a priority out of it. Um, you've got to sacrifice, especially if it's something that you're in love with. Um, and just like me, I've fallen in love with it. You know, it's no longer, uh, I want to fight. It's no longer, hey, I'm going to try this out. I fell in love with the sport. And if you're going to want to be anything at it, then you have to make sacrifices. You have to do the things that nobody wanted to do. You're going to have to wake up early. You're going to have to train late. You're going to have to run when nobody's looking. It's all the work that you put in when nobody else sees it. Talking about sacrifices, your fight is happening December 4th, which just so happens to be a couple of weeks, maybe not even a couple of weeks, so after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. So obviously you guys are cutting weight right in the middle of the Thanksgiving holiday. So that must really kind of stink a little bit. Yeah, you know, it does. Um, but <clears throat> again, that leads back to the wrestling background. You know, all through high school, all through my wrestling career, um, I never really got to do the whole Thanksgiving thing because that was during the wrestling season. So it's not really that much of a 
you know, big thing for me, but it is going to be a little tough because I got used to being able to do that. Right. <laughs> just stuff in my face. Yeah. And, and it's kind of like a rite of passage in America when we do that. So Thanksgiving to Christmas, you know, so it's just how it is. But any last words, any shout outs before we wrap it up today? Um, no, big shout out to, you know, Chris Vereen. Everybody that has helped me throughout this uh, career, everybody at Gen 365 that comes in, beats me up, lets me beat them up. Everybody, you know, that has filtered in knowledge to my coach for him to filter down to me. Thank you so much. It means everything to me. All right. Well, thank you as well, fans, for always being here to support all these fighters as well. We want to see you guys there. Rage in the Cage 85. It's going down at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market, historic event center for um, mixed martial arts. And so we love going back to the farmers market. You can get tickets from Keegan, Keegan Davison, any other fighter on the card, over course, stubware.com. We hope to see you there and we're going to rage it up.